Welcome back to One on One Sports. With me today are racing experts Matt Krause and Steven Toronto, and they are ready to get fired up about the latest news in NASCAR. All right, guys, the Sprint Cup Championship is winding down. There are three races left. Jimmy Johnson trails, or Brad Keselowski trails Jimmy Johnson by two points. So who wins? Matt, let's start with you. I'm going to have to go with Brad Keselowski. He's had a breakout season this year to build off of the great season he had last year. He's strong at mile and a half racetracks. There's two of those left on the schedule with Texas and Homestead. And he's won a mile and a half track but earlier in the year in Kentucky. But you're forgetting one thing, though, the person he's going up against. I think after five championships in a row, I think that uh, we've learned that if Jimmy Johnson is within reach of the points, is within reach of the points lead with a couple races left in the season, just pack your toolbox up, better luck next season. He Brad has Keselowski is a new driver. There hasn't been a driver like Brad Keselowski, a young face that brings a new type of energy. Brad Keselowski has got an average finish of 5.6 in the chase. He's strong when it counts also, just like Johnson. Uh, this I is something new for Jimmy, and that pressure is going to get to him. I think Brad Keselowski wins this. Well, I, I think uh, I would agree that Brad Keselowski has managed to kind of channel the same luck that Jimmy Johnson has, but uh, Jimmy Johnson, if, if taking a look at Kansas, any, any other driver would have been out of it yeah. after that, but with some bear bond and no, it, you know a little attrition, he got a top ten out yeah, of that. It ought to that be shouldn't happen. It ought to be exciting. Let's just say that it'll be an exciting final three races. All right, moving on yes, to sir. our next topic. Little Lee Dale Earnhardt Jr. came back from a two-week absence after having a slight concussion, and he continued to race. Some question, you know, he's out of the chase. Some question whether he should have come back to racing or not, or just sat out the rest of the season. So, Stephen, what should he have done? I think it's a non-issue, quite frankly. If he's well enough to race, and if the doctor says he's okay to race, then then absolutely, why, why not? I mean, uh, I mean, people mentioned, bring up the concussion thing, but you're taking a look at, uh, in the Nationwide Series, Eric McClure uh, has gotten a couple of concussions throughout the years, and he's still racing. I, I don't see, I mean, even after his big wreck at Talladega, he still, ra he got back in the car, and I think rode America, so. I, uh, I don't think Steven, that's Steven, the problem been. isn't over the years. Dale Earnhardt Jr. had two concussions within the span of two months. The testing crash at Kansas and then the big crash at Talladega. What if he gets another one? His career is likely over. But, but generally, and that's, um, generally when that kind of thing happens, usually the doctor will say that uh, historically, Neil, uh, you have guys like Neil Bond and Jerry Nadeau uh, who publicly have the their doctors state, you know, if you take another hit like that, it could it could kill you, let alone end your career. I, I haven't I think seen there's that extra Earnhardt. pressure on Dale Earnhardt Jr. because he's the most popular driver in the sport. Absolutely. The fans yeah, yeah. want to see him out there. Then you get like a track like Texas coming up this weekend. That creates big wrecks yeah. like David Rudiman's wreck in 2008. Yeah. What like again? Yeah, it's, I, I don't know. It's, I, think, I think as a fan, from a fan standpoint, I think I'd like to see him out there. That's that's just me. Yeah, just nitpicking. It was my yeah. Guy. All right, moving on. You know, NASCAR has made some major strides in safety this year, these past you know couple of years and whatnot. But are these advances in safety too boring for the sport, Matt? Absolutely, they're too boring. Car tomorrow makes all the cars the same. It's tough to pass. Fans don't want to watch cars riding around in a circle for three hours at a mile and a half racetrack with no passing. Absolutely. Follow the leader is not exciting. Absolutely. It but takes the creativity and pit strategy out of the race. But the, but the safety component of that has nothing to do with it. I would, I would take, I, I mean, I would, I would agree that the, the uh, car of tomorrow, since it's, since it's been implemented, has had an adverse effect on the racing. But the, the safety features that it brings are, is just fantastic. I mean, you had, in the Daytona 500 this year, you had Juan Pablo Montoya hit a jet dryer and walk out unscathed. Yeah. I think that's just that's just fantastic, and I don't think uh, people yeah. yearning for the good old days or yeah. yearning for the. I think I think I got to side with Stephen here. You, you got to always do safety first. That's you know safety comes first. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this thrilling debate. But don't go anywhere. Up next, Jake sits down with our MLB experts to talk about the World Series. <laughs> 